How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another guitar lesson. I'm your host Logan Grindle and as always if you see anything you like in this video today please be sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below this video and to share with your friends. All right so in today's video we're going to be talking about all the lead things that's going on in Merle Haggard's song Mama Tried. All right so Mama Tried was released as a single in 1968 but the full album which the album was called Pride and What I Am wasn't released until 1969. So, and then another thing, all these licks, I'm unsure on who actually played all these licks. Uh, the album credits are not very clear on who played on which song. So it could either be Roy Nichols or James Burton. Regardless, these are killer licks and a killer guitar solo that has that classic Merle Haggard sound involved into all the licks being played in this song. So here we go and stay tuned for more. All right, so here we are with an up close. All right, so here we are with the up close view of the, try to get the lighting right. This maple fretboard is reflecting the light I have, probably making it hard to see. But uh, <clears throat> so here we are with the up close view of the uh, licks played in Mama Tried. Um, so yeah, here we go. So just a little heads up, there's this little. And that's played by like a nylon string guitar or a, a resonator guitar. I've heard people say that they think it's a resonator guitar. And then I've also heard people say that it's a nylon string guitar, but you know, it could, it could be either one because you know, on the album cover of this, of, uh, of, the album that this song is on, Merle Haggard, Pride and What I Am, off of Capitol Records. He's holding a resonator guitar, like a dobro that you would, like a round neck dobro, you'd play like a guitar. So it could be that, I don't know. Uh, but it's kind of hard to tell because if you listen to it, it you know, it, it could be a nylon string guitar or it could be that. But anyways, so there's two, that goes two times around and then, then that's where the licks come in. So the first lick is, which is in the intro, which what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the 12th fret of the high E, but you're gonna like bend it up to where it's like this. You want, it, you want this note to be bent up to what the uh, uh, 13th fret of the high E, because see, so you want that to be the same note. So it goes, and then you bend it down to its regular pitch on the 12th fret of the high E. Okay? And then after that, you're gonna hit the, you're gonna hit the 13th fret of the B string. So, so here we go again. And also what I'm doing, you'll notice that I'm using like my finger and I'm kind of catching my fingernail on it. And that's what, that's what kind of gives it that tone that you hear in that record, that. Okay. All right. So. And then on the 13th fret of the B string, and then you're gonna move down to the fifth fret of the B string. And then you're gonna do the same kind of motion except this time you're gonna do it on the on the same fret of the string above. So fifth fret of the high E bent like this, which is matching the same pitch of the sixth fret. Okay, you, you really gotta use your ear to get those bends right or it won't sound right, okay? And then you hit the uh, fifth fret of the G string, which is a C note. And, and if you, if you're paying attention, you'll realize that it's a just that 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 lick is the same lick as this high lick, 
It's just an octave down. It's the same notes. All right? So then after that, you're going to play this, which is just a D chord. And all that is is think about uh, the uh, fifth fret on the A string and then barring these three strings with your pinky to make this a D chord. And you're going to pinch them like this. You're pinching these three. And you're going to use your pick and these two fingers like this. So what we got so far is So moving on to the solo, you're going to play that same lick, that, but but this time you're, then you're going to slide in front on the D string from seven. Let's see, yeah, seven to nine. So and then. That is, is get a little closer view. All right, and then the next lick is. slow what that is is and there's the solo and the intro all right everyone that's a wrap for this guitar lesson that was all the lead things that's going on in the song mama tribe by merle haggard that's all i got for you on this lesson and i'll catch you on the next one see ya